Wow, good day, Cyberland. My name's Marlon, the channel's Old Port Hacks. What we're going to be looking at today is the tailstock mounting plate on my Chinese 7x14 lathe that I just bought back in January. Um, it was sold to me by a company called Audio Yeah-1. They're being quite responsive, so I'm trying to get this resolved because I can't line up the center on the tailstock with the center on the headstock, which is mm, just a bit of a problem. Uh, it was brand named or trade named Velvor, so I'll get response out of one of those two companies, I think. Anyway, let's go take a look. I'll go set up and we'll see. Okay, guys, this video is going to be handheld. It will be bouncy. I, I'm sorry for that, but this is the only way to do this. The mini lathe in question is trademarked as a Velvor. It's a 7 by 14 Overall, not horrible. I mean, you know. What do you expect from what you pay? But the problem I'm having here is with, as you can see, this is the tailstock. See? Tailstock. And if you look, there's a hole there. Down here at the base, let me move the knob here on the lathe a little bit. You'll see here, right here, and here, and here, just how horribly... fitted up the plate here is to the ways and the trouble is is it slides up and down the ways it gets a little inaccurate it's just not stable and that is just not really acceptable I've seen other people talking about this same problem you can see it's on both sides it's on a slant the V is not cut correctly and I believe if you cut the V full depth, you're then going to have to shim the head portion because by that time, that gap right down there underneath, that gap right, hard to do this, right there, will drop this side of it substantially and then this will be too short. This needs a proper base plate of the correct height. That's the fix. Uh, the only way I could fix that would be to machine a whole new base plate. And I don't have the equipment to do that. So I think we all need to agree to get together and hold the companies that sell these things, hold their feet to the fire just a little bit so that they will then get on the case of the people who are actually making this and get them to make their products correctly. There's no reason for that base plate to not be correct, to not have an adequate size V in it, and not fit onto the ways properly. This is the problem with this. It also makes it very, very hard to adjust. Um, in fact, there's an issue in adjusting that. The screw on this one to adjust this for windage is located up under here. It's recessed in, which there's no reason for it to be recessed in whatsoever. The recess then is on a slot, and that cuts gets cut so that you end up with a position that it wants to go in, even though you don't want it in that position. So that makes it also difficult to adjust it this way. And the net result is, because it's now difficult to adjust left to right, you end up... Uh, anyway, the other problem is, again, if I do fix this, or as it moves left to right, because it's on a bit of an angle, it moves up and up and down as up and down, up, up and down as I'm moving left and right. It makes it very, very hard to properly align the center of the, that tailstock to the center of the spindle. That's my problem. Let's see what we can get done about it. 